Good afternoon everyone. So after the freeze and frost and everything from week before last, that's the way they look. But the buds that hadn't opened look like that. And I'd been saying I was going to get out here the past couple of days and take pictures before we had the frost last night. But I never did get it done. And so anyway, I w wasn't sure they were going to be worth photographing or videoing. Back whenever I had more energy and stamina than I do nowadays, I used to come out here and pick all the, the dead ones off and make room for the new ones to open. But I don't do that too much anymore. They will fall off on their own, as you can see from down here, and a lot of them down there don't look like they've really been bit. I jokingly say this is Mother Nature providing me with Christmas trees, even though Christmas is well over. And as I've said before, the pink and lighter colors are indeed usually the ones that do get bit by the frost and the freezes first and this pink here is always the first to open and it's the first to finish up or yep and that freeze the other day i hadn't hadn't been out here and looked but my aloe has sure got bit. I don't know if it'll come back this time or not. I, that's the hardest freeze we've had in quite a few years. and uh, He's not looking good right now at all. Some of these down under here were kind of protected a bit more. And so I don't know right now. I can't see with the shade and all if you're getting to see the good blooms or not. This one hadn't been blooming long. There were a few open that the weather got to, but there are still more that weren't affected. And don't have any of the peppermints open yet, which the other side, like I said, this was a peppermint, but it's a graft, and one limb that came, the biggest part of it is a different red than any of the others. There's a white or two in here that have finally opened. If I can get a shot of it. It's got more blooms, so depending on the weather, maybe I'll get a better shot off of one directly. And these little reds here, they're just the cutest little flower. They're not as large as some of the others, but they are just a really uniform, kind of compact little flower that I think is beautiful. And my little dog has gone to see her mama. We've been putting dog wire down at the bottom, and she's found out that she can get up 
along about here and she, that's enough room for her to squeeze her little butt out so that's what i'm fixing to do now is go get some more of this dog wire like what i have here and put it down there extend it down to where she can't go out and my daffodils are coming up i hope this year i have a little better crop of flowers that I've been having. It's a beautiful day. Nothing. I ain't seen a cloud in the sky all day. I think it was 45 when I walked out of the house. That's how long my memory is anymore. My holly berries have really come out. Some of the birds start getting into them. I guess they start fermenting whenever we start having warmer weather in March or April. And the birds start really eating on them then. I had made me up another batch of the turmeric and honey this morning and got it put away now and got the turmeric cleaned up and that was what I was doing when I saw my little dog go out, Chloe, and uh, was out here. These are the old roots now. Those are some of the uh, original rhizomes that I, I ordered year before last or I can't keep up with time anymore and then some new ones and I'm going to put one or two of the old ones and one or two new pieces in my three gallon pots and that's where I'll start so from what I got out of one pot this year I'll double it and make two pots for next year and the papayas, that's really still budding out nice. A limb off my pencil cactus that has been laying there now for months and months. If I ever get around to pot that somewhere, I think it will really root fast. The peppers are wilted down bad. They need water. I just watered with the can a little bit earlier. Didn't want to stretch the water hose out. The kratoms are doing nice. They need a little water too, though there was numbers of pots that still had good moisture, but some of the bigger ones are drying out a bit. My little sour sap trees are still hanging in there and are showing some new growth on some of them. And another little kratom back around there. And this is one I talked about in one of the other videos. It shed a whole lot of leaves, but then it's got new buds coming all up and down the stalk there. And my mulberry here I let dry out way bad. And I watered it while I go. And I'm fixing to go get my water can and water it some more. And I think every time I come in here, just about, I have to, I need to pick more mulberries. And this was the same variety as this. And I need to take better care of it. The little ones in the sweater boxes still look good. And like I said, this is the original that I got from Hector of this roof fat here and it is just doing so well and then that was this one here is the top that i cut off of this one and it's doing very well the leaves on it are way bigger and they're kind of longer and all whereas on the clones that i have done from the 
other varieties and all it's more of a rounded leaf I don't know like I said I'm no expert on it uh, hibiscus over there I've got a good many blooms and there's I think there's three pots of turmeric over there that still got to be taken apart if I take them all apart this year uh, the mango tree here is doing real well that's the longer leaves and the ginger here is already trying to put out some new sh buds on the root I just took the tops off of it the other day when I dug the pot of turmeric and that was what I was going to do before I decided I needed to do fences out there for the little dog was I was fixing to take another pot of the turmeric because I've got three pots of turmeric up here make that four pots because that's a pot of turmeric also and uh Anyway, I'm going to take some more of them apart and just multiplying it a little. I don't really need a bunch in the house. But that's what's going on for me today. Go work on the fence a little bit. Keep my baby from getting out on the road and getting runned over. Everyone have a blessed day.